This is Jay-Z inside his Masonic Lodge. You can see the Masons in aprons in front of him. This is where Jay-Z takes his sick oaths of silence, kneels down in front of other men and calls them most worshipful master. An appalling title to give to a man on this planet. Jay-Z the Freemason writes songs like this. This one's called Lucifer. And in Empire State of Mind he writes, Jesus can't save you. Life starts when the church ends. Oh, but he, he can save you, Jay-Z. He can even wake you up just before you collide into a concrete wall doing 120 kilometers an hour. I should know. This is fellow member of the craft, Alicia Keys, who sings on the track. Here she is, showing her allegiance and wearing the broken and bloody cross of Jesus Christ. The occult peace sign, pure hatred for Jesus. There is peace when your conscience has been killed, seed to sin, and you can indulge to anything. A false and temporary kind of peace, no doubt. Here's a shirt off Jay-Z's clothing line, purely Masonic, The Craft. Well, this is The Craft he's referring to. This is him with well-known witch Marina Abramovich, also showing her sign of allegiance to Freemasonry. Now here we go. Here's Jay-Z wearing a most revealing top and the dead giveaway that you need to see behind the curtain of Freemasonry. Do what thou wilt. Do whatever you want. That's the adopted motto of the most notorious Satanist of the 20th century, 33rd degree Freemason, Alistair Crowley. Here is his certificate of appointment, known as the 33rd degree inscription and the double-headed eagle of Freemasonry. And here, next to his name on the certificate, including the symbol for a grand commander of Freemasonry, as shown in their encyclopedia. But to really confirm that he's a Freemason, here he is doing the Masonic sign of the Master of the Second Veil. Now here's a legitimate letter from, from Alistair. Again, the addition of his uh, inscription of the 33rd degree, and he signs off with a symbol of the past, Commander of Freemasonry. What does he write beside it? Baphomet. This Baphomet. Now listen to this man to get a clearer picture of the truth behind the secret religion of the stars and the leaders of the world. Alistair is the founder of a Luciferian church called the Ordo Templi Orientis, and he named himself the Beast 666, straight from the Bible, depicting the number of wickedness in human form. In his what's called Liber's writings, he says, with my hawk's head, I peck at the eyes of Jesus as he hangs upon the cross. Do you see the hatred? You think they don't hate you too? Keep watching. And from the equinox, with the all-seeing eye of Freemasonry, this illustration. What does it mean? The writer himself explains. The picture is symbolic of the new eon, the new age. From the blasted stump of dogma hangs the hag with dyed and bloody hair. Christianity. There's a massive glimpse into the new world order that's coming. Keep watching. And down here, do what thou wilt is the true nature. The true nature, remember? The broad morals. There is no such thing as evil. So do what you want. Can you see the Masonic future yet? Can you see the hidden hatred that pulses through its veins? If they believe in do what thou wilt, what do you think they will do to you. And what do you think they'll do in order to build this new world? This is from a commentary on his book of the law. The Beast 666 adviseth that all children should be accustomed from infancy to witness every type of sexual act. Do what thou wilt. And what about the royal art of Freemasonry? Magic is the highest, most absolute, and most divine knowledge of natural philosophy. What a statement. The highest, most absolute and divine. Well, let's have a closer look into some of the more hidden secrets of the most divine natural philosophy known as magic. Any living being is a storehouse of energy, varying in quantity according to the size and health of the animal. At the death of the animal, this energy is liberated suddenly. The animal, therefore, should be killed within the circle, within the magic circle. So that energy 
This release can be captured and directed to serve the will of the witch, male or female. This is a science, a hidden science. But now hear this, coming from a 33rd degree Freemason. And don't you forget that. For the highest spiritual working, one must accordingly choose that victim which contains the greatest and purest force. A male child of perfect innocence and high intelligence is the most suitable sacrifice. Can you see? This is who Jay-Z is quoting on his top. This is who this Jonas brother holds in high esteem. This is who the Beatles have on their front cover as a figure they admire. No worse, they put at the top. This is the same picture of the front cover in a mirrored form and after some kaleidoscoping, you'll find this. Fellow Freemason Alistair Crowley sits at the top and down the bottom there even appears the phallus with the testicles and up here the vesica pisces, also known as the vagina. Does, does this picture make more sense now? All Freemasons, yes indeed. And by the way, that's where Jay-Z got his symbol from, from Satanism, as portrayed here by Satanist and Freemason Alistair Crowley and by Satanic Church founder Anton LaVey. Does anyone still think that Freemasonry isn't Satanism in disguise? Let's finally take a peek into the royal art of Freemasonry. And this is the briefest way I can show you from the complete book of magic and witchcraft. This is a practitioner's manual, not from some bogus author trying to expose witchcraft. Just so you can get it through your head that this is real and this is protected. The writer or compiler of this godforsaken book warns the reader that the recipes may seem disgusting, that the knowledge revealed has been forbidden and has caused suffering and death to witches and the victims of witches. You don't think witch, witchcraft was a serious menace in times past and present? Come with me and I'll show you how bad this menace actually gets. As the world's most powerful and secret religion moves ever closer to fulfilling its biblical destiny and it will. Close your eyes or not, it will fulfill its destiny. Firstly, let's connect this sick art straight to modern Freemasonry with the word abracadabra. Both written in triangular form from the Manual of Witchcraft and from the Encyclopedia of the Secret Society that your Prime Minister belongs to. And just like high-ranking Freemasons, male and female witches also drink out of a human skull. But here the practitioner drinks wine, in which they first dissolve or boil the brains or heart of an animal before consuming it all from the human skull. In this ritual, the initiate is instructed to drink in the night at spring water out of a skull of one that hath been slain. That's right. Out of a, the skull of a human who's been murdered or sacrificed. Otherwise, eat a pig with a knife that slew a man. Please don't turn away. Look straight ahead and open your eyes to the planet you are on. Because the real monster under your bed doesn't actually go away when you close your eyes. In other rituals of the craft, you burn a rooster while he's alive. With the use of a, of a poisonous plant used in ointments and potions of witches, you can assure death and destruction on a victim. You want to make a female enemy sterile or a male enemy impotent for the rest of his life? Otherwise, you can just kill them. The hand of glory is the severed hand that is dried and preserved to be used in black magic. Yes, a dead human hand. A black circle is most effective for operations of evil. The use of blood and sex in ritual was considered helpful for obtaining the necessary energy to successfully work magic or achieve mystical insight. But here's where the darkness thickens even further. Animals such as black cats or children may be sacrificed and participants may drink the blood of the sacrifice and just so you know that Stanley Kubrick wasn't joking an orgy of participants sometimes follows the mass no remorse just science the science of witchcraft the royal art and here what's necessary for the working is the fat of young children dead children how many children do you think go missing in Australia every year? That's how many. 
And what about the world? Is it one million? Well, according to the International Center for Missing and Exploited Children, it's eight million children per year. Do you think that the highest, most absolute, and most divine knowledge of natural philosophy has anything to do with that? Any chance of an international secret system that is bolstered by initiations and degrees and bound under the most brutal penalties that the human mind can ever devise? Do you think that has any involvement? Any chance of that? Am I saying that this Freemason has sacrificed children? No, I never said that. But did he ever even remotely mention the secret societies? Did he ever try to warn you? Educate you? No, he was under oath. Am I saying that these Freemasons have sacrificed children? No, I never said that either. But have they ever warned you about the secret society that believes that Lucifer is the saviour? The, the society functioning right under your nose, that secret society? No, not a chance. Julia Gillard admitted she belonged to one, but that's about it because they're all under oath. So where does this ancient craft originate from? It originates from the spirit realm, from spirit beings. That's who taught mankind the royal art before civilization began. In this chapter, The Rites of Satanism and Witchcraft, the manual explains that a typical satanic Sabbath was, number one, a homage to the devil, usually performed as the osculum infamy, also known as the kiss of shame, which is so shameful that we'll just put it this way. The ritual involves... Kissing the hindquarters of the devil. The rear. Surely this is far removed from anything to do with Freemasonry. People, the original order of the Knights Templar were found guilty of this very same obscene ritual. And where do you find the modern variant of the Knights Templars of today? I told you, in the highest degree of Freemasonry, right here. Here's a couple of them now. And what's on this Templar's head? From the Masonic Encyclopedia, remember, a symbol of the Baphomet, according to 33rd degree Alistair Crowley. And we could confirm that in the Satanic Bible. That's exactly what's hiding deep inside of Freemasonry. I'm only showing you this to show you the reality of Satanism and the demonic realm, the world you can't see. On this earth? <laughs> and in this earth and in, uh, and in the world we can't see. Look here. The hierarchy of demons occupies a more important place in both black and white magic rituals. Both black and white. This is where the power of witchcraft comes from. And this is the reason these bizarre rituals actually function and actually work. Because after the ritual is performed on earth, its effects are carried out to their conclusion in the spirit realm. By spiritual beings or demons, actual demons. The reality that is hidden from you. Because if you found out that Satan was real, then that would have to make Jesus Christ real too. And he is the one they hate. And if Jesus Christ is real, that changes everything. And this is how much they hate him. The prayer that Jesus taught his disciples is performed backwards. The high priest is sometimes naked. A prostitute assists him and a naked virgin who may later be deflowered, is the altar. Everything that is sacred is defiled, and everything that is filthy is honoured as pure. Because of their burning hatred of Jesus Christ, just as he's hated by the fallen angels that they worship, it gets worse when you hear what they use as a substitute for the bread that Jesus broke and told his disciples to eat in remembrance of him. A wafer which initiates me with this, this, and this. Or, the name of Satan may be written upon it. And this isn't even witchcraft, this is just a ceremony announcing who they love and who they hate. So is Satan real? It continues to state in the hierarchy of demons, at the very top, Satanakia, whose title is the Commander-in-Chief. What did Bob Dylan, the Freemason, call the one he made a bargain with? Should, should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. Same title. Commander-in-chief. 
Chief Commander. Are you following? But watch this. In case the darkness is getting a little too thick and encompassing for you, let's shine a little light. The true light that only the Gospels can supply. Speaking to us humans and revealing something about Satan, the Gospels state, you follow the spirit of the age in this world system as dominated by the commander of the spiritual powers of the air. Satan, the god of this world, the commander. You still think the Gospels are wrong or fake? See, Satanists know that the spirits also live in the air, just as the Gospels reveal. You can summon any of these demonic spirits by name if you possess the royal art. Who do you think this figure on the front cover represents? A magician who is inadequately prepared and cannot attain his desires may seek the aid of Satan. That's who this is. Now that you know, hopefully for a fact, that these are at the top of the human food chain. Do you think they'd be fooling around with stupid fairy tales? No. Witchcraft and Satanism is absolutely real. Hence their earthly power. This demon here, fifth in the pyramid structure, holds the title of Inspector General. And what's the title of the highest degree in Freemasonry? Who exists in every local lodge in every suburb, a suburb near you. Inspector General. Same title as the living demon. Do you believe me now? You can even conjure Lucifer himself or be Beelzebub, who the Gospels call the Prince of the Devils. Both of whom are listed as superior spirits in this book of witchcraft and magic. I can show you so much more from this disgusting book, but I'll cut it off here with the seal of Saturn. A demonic sigil from the complete book of magic and witchcraft. And this is his seal. Can you see? Do you see? This is the society that lives amongst you, above you. The one-eyed religion of Freemasonry hidden right in front of those who have their eyes wide shut. I'm going to now show you what that world that they are building from the ashes of the one you're currently living in looks like. But lastly, to drive this business of blood sacrifice home, here's American rapper Azealia Banks with the triple six hand sign and now over the all seeing eye, the all seeing eye in her video, the eye in the triangle of the Freemasons on her shirt and the devil's horns, her liberator, her master, her commander. And now displaying the secret society vow of silence. Along with that, the last brief glimpse into the highly concealed royal art of Freemasonry. The amount of crap that's about to come off my floor right now, guys. Oh my god. Three years worth of brujeria. Yes, you know I gotta scrape all this shit up. And what does brujeria mean? You know what it means. Witchcraft. Azealia Banks, the witch, with her eye in the triangle shirt, and the logo of, for example, the Grand Lodge of Freemasonry in Spain. One and the same symbol. The logo of the Fraternity of the Freemasons, and the logo of this Church of Lucifer. The one eye. One and the same symbol. Freemasonry has deceived you. Yes, people, now you know how Satanism has functioned out of sight and out of mind. You still think there's no such thing as witchcraft? Or that it only existed in the olden days? You still think that blood isn't a part of the royal art? You still think that local Masonic lodges of the world are not filtering systems for Satanists and a cloak for organized Satanism with a grand master plan for the world? You think there's nothing to the blood sacrifice? Of Jesus Christ? Uh, after seeing all this and the Azealia Banks clip, and after realizing that there exists a hidden and guarded science of the art of blood sacrifice, you think there was no science behind Jesus' crucifixion, a deeper reality that we can't see or understand? You think Jesus didn't know what he was doing? Or are you one of those who still think he didn't exist? Tell me, how can they hate something? that doesn't exist.